The architecture of the Philippines is unusual that it reflects both its cultural heritage and the need to adapt to its surroundings. The Philippine architecture reflects the country's history and tradition. In response to the expanding aspirations of Filipinos, churches and mosques across the country as well as buildings and rural regions have emerged. Juan Filipe de Jesus Nakpil, also known as Juan F. Nakpil, is another prominent Filipino architect that you should be proud of. He had a strong faith in Filipino architects, believing that there is such thing as Philippine architecture, advocating architecture that reflects Philippine tradition and culture. He was born on May 26, 1899. Juan Nakpil was the eighth child of Julio Nakpil and Gregoria de Jesus. He earned a living as a pianist with the Filipino Strong Orchestra while studying civil engineering at the University of Kansas. He went to the Fontainebleau School of Fine Arts in France to study architecture. In 1926, he returned to the United States after receiving his master's degree in architecture from Harvard University in 1926. He is the first national artist for architecture. This great artist designed the 1937 International Eucharistic Congress altar and reconstructed the Capo Church in 1930, adding a second dome and belfry. Nakpil is also known as the artistic mind behind the Jeronimo de las Reyes building, Captain Pepe building, the Magsaysay building, the Rizal Theater, the uh, Capital Theater, the reconstructed shrine in Calamba Laguna, the Manila Jockey Club, the Rufino building, the Philippine Village Hotel, University of Philippine Administration building in Kazan Hall, and the University Library in Gonzales Hall. Juan F. Nakpil is a pioneer and innovator in Philippine architecture. He is an architect, teacher, and civic leader. In essence, Nakpil's greatest contribution is his belief in the existence of Philippine architecture, which advocates for architecture that reflects Philippine traditions and culture.